Hello guys, your new spells here. I hope all of you are doing great. Today we have lots of news for you. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Coming at first, rapper G Herbo pleads guilty to using stolen credit cards. G Herbo signed a plea deal in federal court admitting wire fraud and lying to federal agents. He pleaded guilty to federal charges that accused him of using information from stolen credit cards to pay for private jets, expensive meals, luxury cars, and the stay at a Jamaican villa. Under the deal, which still must be approved by a judge, Wright faces as many as 20 years in prison. Though the sentence could be a lot less, a hearing in the case is scheduled for later this month. Next news is YouTuber Alex Stain throws hot dogs at TikToker star Dean. YouTuber Alex Stain and TikToker Dean were set to go head to head in the Misfits boxing until the sickening joke led to the match cancellation. Video from the conference shows the exact moment that Stain railed up the tensions and targeted his opponent with the wild prank. Love hot dogs. So. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 yeah, some hot dogs for you. Wow. Yeah, here's some hot dogs, bro. I know you love that. You love pork, right? Stain said, I know you love hot dogs, so you love pork, right? And Dean got angry over this and the fight was cancelled. Later, Stain said that he's friends with Dean and had contacted his management to plan the stunt beforehand. He also tweeted, cancel culture wins again. In a video, Dean slapped Misfits Boxing and DAZN for cancelling the fight and said there was no real harm in the joke. Serious now, what's happened today, the altercation in the press conference has led the zone and misfits to cancel my boxing fight. Now I'm feeling heartbroken because my fight is getting canceled because of someone else's actions. And I'm not getting the chance to smash this guy he's facing, yeah? So I just wanted to say, look, they found out it was not but fans did not like this joke, so let us know your thoughts in the comments. Coming up next, Puerto Rican police warned Takeshi that they can't protect him if he goes to Puerto Rico. Looks like Takeshi Rattis reputation is following him outside of the continental United States as the hip hop area is finding out he's not welcome out in Puerto Rico. Takeshi was set to take part in UEVN's Youth Awards at Puerto Rico, but it seems like Takeshi might want to rethink his visit. Police said they will try their best to protect him but we are not sure Takeshi should risk it especially after he had some choice words for Fat Joe just last year. He even took to his IG page to promote his appearance at the Youth Awards yesterday. Para este video le quiero decir felicidades a Yailin por cerrar su contrato con Fume Vapes. Lo ve aquí. Felicidades. Thank you Shlomi. Thank you Yogiv. Yailin, como le dije ayer, tenía otro regalo por ella. What do you all think? Should Takeshi risk it for a payday? Let us know in the comments section below. Lastly, we have a sad news for you. Legendary computer hacker Kevin Mitnick dies at 59. Kevin Mitnick, one of the most famous hackers in the history of cybersecurity, died over the weekend at age 59 after a more than year-long battle with pancreatic cancer. Before his death, Mitnick's hacking sprees were legendary and multiple films were inspired by him. The first war games starring Matthew Broderick was partially based on allegations that Mitnick successfully hacked the computer systems at North American Aerospace Defense Command as a teenager. So guys, this is it for the day. Make sure to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any news. Have a great day. Bye.